Good morning, guys and girls. <clears throat> it's another urban homesteading edition here. Doing my morning chores as I usually do. Come out here, water everything. Yo. Make sure this is all uh, right now is off of well water. And uh, <clears throat> everything seems to like it. You know, you're getting good, wholesome water right out of the ground. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. This, we've already covered this stuff. I mean, I've got, I've got my cucumbers starting to pop here. I've got my peas starting to pop over here. And I got my cucumbers definitely popping and popping strong. It's awesome. A uh, little bit of water, good nutrients, good soil. And this stuff takes off like a gang of busters. Yo. <clears throat> so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll talk more in the next area. All right, now that we're over by my onion patch here, um, <clears throat> let's talk about today's project, guys. As I'm watering everything, giving it its good morning drink. Um, <clears throat> but we are gonna be setting up some rain barrels cause I've got one water spigot on my house. It's on this side of my house. So it makes it convenient for watering everything in this area but I really don't have anything for the front of the house or where you just saw me watering just a few moments ago. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that today. That'll be today's project. Um, so <clears throat> if you guys are wondering how to do this, I've never done it before, uh, setting up a rain barrel. Um, looks simple enough. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go through the journey together. I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me water my garden a second time. Um, you know, we're just putting water down. Yay. Uh, so let's get into the fun stuff here and get right on into today's video. here so now we're gonna get a go ahead and uh, get this project started I just got done getting some feed and some uh, pine chips for the chunkins uh, so now I can get on back to this uh, rain barrel project uh, that I started up uh, earlier this morning um, so this is the rain barrel in the box here guys um, it says do not uh, use a knife to open this up it's basically telling you not to stab into it if you're gonna use a knife because like they taped that the bejeebus out of this to ship it to me be really careful like where I'm sliding it in now I'm just it, it's above the cardboard still so I'm not like going into the box in any way uh, but be careful you can easily this is the part where you can easily puncture and I'm just like very carefully just opening it up here making sure I don't puncture anything and uh, let's go ahead and pull out all the stuff that's oh, in the box Put my knife away here. All right, so the first thing that we get in the bag is, in the box is a bag of uh, fittings uh, to be attached onto the rain barrel with some instructions. Uh, then we get the, uh, the, the many legs. Um, see here, it gives me three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different legs. And then the bag, it's uh, the rain barrel itself. Get that out of the way here. Get the plastic off of this. All right. So they recommend that you put the, uh, the fittings onto the bag first uh, before you slide the poles in. Once you got the, um, the poles in, you will not be able to reach to the bottom of this um, without with the you know without the poles in it you can reach everything that you're supposed to um, so that's what we're going to work on next here so i've got to put an overflow on it a um a and two different spigot spots 
Uh, and all of that comes into this little bag here. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Now I do have two of these. I've already got the one set up, so I've already know how to set this up, kind of practice a little bit. I know I did it without no cameras, so I knew what I was doing over here. So let's go ahead and take out all of this stuff here. Uh, makes life easier once I can get to everything. All right, so got that there we have that so two two I feel like I am missing a set I did this before right. uh. hmm odd well I mean, I guess the top one doesn't really need to have a, because it's overflow, it doesn't need to have a seal at the very, very top. Um, it does not look like they gave me a seal for every, let me open up this other bag here. So I've seen people do it before, where they're like, yeah, we'll just put everything here. And there's more there than what I was assuming. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, I'm just going to do this top one. So there's a top, very, very much, most top hole up here. And it gets an overflow. This way, you know, you don't come out to a hot mess. It actually will drain out. And you can attach a hose onto this. This way you can uh, direct which way it's uh, draining. If uh, where it's draining becomes an issue. All right, so bam. And then we got a, just like uh, to be able to fill up a bucket. It's like a little spigot on here too. Uh, there is a one that's like more towards the top. Um, that's the where I would put this at. Um, at the bottom, I'm going to use as the highest pressure for, um, you know, th this way you got more water above uh, the uh the nozzle this way I can get the maximum amount of water pressure to water the garden because that's basically what this is all for and trying to get this thing to where it is down pointed down sometimes a pain ah, there we go all right now we got one more hole here telling you guys this is a quick project this is something very easy to do this part of the setup is the long uh, is the easiest part and then I got to cut my uh, soffit real quick and we'll do that and then this thing will be together now there's no rain in my forecast anytime soon um, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to fill these up until the next rainstorm but I will give you guys an update on that once I finally do get some rain and I'm able to um, see how well my catchment system is because uh, like I'm going to be putting an inline gutter uh, diverter and if it doesn't divert a lot of water I might just and put the like angle my soffit to go pour right into it this way it gets all the water and I have a feeling that that will be the case but either way <clears throat> make sure that this is Vertical. I'm like trying to use a line on here to make sure I got a good <clears throat> ah, vertical. There we go. All right. Now, now that all of this is on, you slide in the poles from the bottom going up, and uh, and it's got a little stopper on the bottom, so like you can tell which side is bottom and what side's top. And this is all like vinyl. So, like, it is a little bit on the rougher side to get the holes started inside of its little pocket. But once you get it in there, you can sit there and easily work this in. Just like that. And then repeat a couple of times. 
Don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you with putting all the poles in. You're gonna see it and it's gonna be done. Just like, all right, so with the with the movie magic, it's all set up now. Um, I even got the, uh, the downspout pieces in. Uh, so <clears throat> it's just a little, little thing. I had to cut like a three and a half inch section out of my downspout, uh, put this little diverter in and uh, it should put the water, any, you know, excess water right up into here. Now, if it doesn't fill up fast enough or in, in a way that I like after a rainstorm, like I think I can catch more rain, since it's already cut here, I'll be able to get like a, a couple of like uh, elbows and stuff like that to be able to uh, bring the pipe right to it. And then I'll divert all the water in here if I don't, if I think that this isn't diverting enough water. Um, it very well could divert plenty of water. I don't know, so I'm going to experiment with this. So I will let you guys know how that works out overall. So without that, without any further ado, let me go ahead and bring you guys over. And you can t sit there and take a look at everything that's here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. So <clears throat> just kind of looking around the outside of this. Right here, we have a... Worth of water uh, down here. We've got the where we can actually hook up a hose. Yo. So here's where you can sit there and uh, fill all of this stuff up with nice little handle. To turn it on and off. And this is 100 gallons, or for any of you people who don't use gallons, 380 liters. And then this will be the overflow. So if this thing ever gets, the water gets up to this level, it'll just start coming right out this pipe right here. And I could hook up a hose and have that directed anywhere I want. So nice and convenient. Zipper top. And I've got rocks down in here. Um, so from what I understand, from what other people have said with this particular rain barrel here, is that if it's empty and you have a lot of wind it'll blow over so i put a couple of rocks down on the bottom of this this way it stays put because it is empty right now and i do have it on top of cinder blocks that i already had um, eight cinder blocks is the width of the um, two rows of cinder blocks four cinder blocks on eight each in each row uh, covers the full bottom of the rain barrel gets it up elevated that much this way I can water all of that. So that pretty much concludes me sitting there and putting in the rain barrel. Like I said, I've got one other one down yonder here. So come on with me. We'll, we'll show off the other one, guys. Yo, right, right, right. And uh, here is the other one. Um, since it's not very full, Looks like kind of, I was sitting there watering and I pulled past it with uh, my garden hose. So that's the other one. I've got to cut the downspout for this one too so that I can get some water into that one. And that's pretty much my water collection system for rain on this side of the house. So I can get everything watered over here. So if you guys find this stuff interesting, certainly smash that lizard like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. I'll be doing more, many, many more videos like this. So if you guys like the Urban Homestead Edition, where, you, where I can show you guys, you too can grow as much food as humanly possible at your house. As they say, go gardens, not lawns. With that being said, peace out, stay savage, and I'll see you on the next one. Yo!